the human body is sacred, the veritable tabernacle of the divine spirit which inhabits it. It is a solemn duty of mankind to develop, protect, and preserve it from pollution, unnecessary wastage, and weakness. Debt is a taskmaster to be feared almost as much as the dictators themselves. It has enslaved thousands in its meshes. It has wrecked happy homes. Keeping the commandments, is at once a demonstration of our intelligence, our knowledge, our character, and our wisdom. Debt, it has driven thousands to drink, and the worry and anxiety it has created have literally taken the lives of many of our ablest men. It has prostrated individuals, enterprises and nations. I have never seen happier people than those who have repented. I give to my friends the assurance that if they will recast their ideas and attitudes about the relative importance of the spiritual to the material, and bring themselves to participate in the mighty cause of establishing God's kingdom in the earth, they will find a satisfaction, a sureness of purpose, a peace and contentment, surpassing anything they have ever known. Debt robs a man of much of the energy and support which he is otherwise able to give to the church and to other good causes. Any conscious, willful impairment of the body is an affront to God. I am aware that I preach a religious doctrine 